Well, you can see the top of that tree is dead, dying in it. That's a poplar tree. So I'm going to set you guys way back here. Well, you guys can watch me from a distance cut it down don't know where a real safe place to put you would be but uh i think this is going to be a good spot pretty good sized poplar tree it's got a little crook at the bottom it looks like it's got a little hollow spot so i got to get over there and look at it it's pretty straight up and down but i think it will fall pretty easy even if i push on it it kind of looks like it might be leaning uphill some um you know, I'll better tell kind of how when I'm cutting it, what's going on with it. I don't think I'll have to push on it, but I might.
Gotta go get that log out of the woods. I got a customer that wants a 10 foot material. So I gotta get get to cutting. I don't know how much of that you saw, but uh this down it uh I wasn't sure it was almost perfectly balanced, and I'm always prepared for that. Bottom had a slight crook, I cut that out of it. But I got enough there to get two 10 foot logs out of. But that thing was one of the ones that was almost perfectly balanced, but there was no top in it. So I knew it wouldn't go anywhere crazy. So I just took my time and I felt it starting to pinch the saw. And I was looking at the top and I'm like, I oh, know it wants to fall the other way. So I just cut a little notch in it and dropped it the other way. So I always leave big enough a hinge that I can do that if it gives me a fit. But now we gotta back up in there, hook up to that log, and get it out of here and back across the stream. So I'll get back with you in just a bit. tree over here beside me it's uh, knocking everything around so, hopefully you guys can hang out there now and I'll knock you off again
where I go through the swamp. And I go down through the stream. God, I hate to have all that dirt on there. What a pain in the butt. There's some nice scars now. I was going by a maple tree. I think it was whooping me. Like I'd done something bad. Like I was a bad boy. Whooping me good. down the road if we're 10 foot ain't no big deal to go down the road with we don't got to go very far i can just let the tractor hang off one side sometimes i can't get the chain out when i use that it's usually thing to pull it off out from underneath there you better let me have it when it's running sometimes the clutch holds on to it We got that chain out. Yeah, don't fall out of there. All right. Boy, did I make a mess out of that thing. I hate getting mud all over my log like that. But I'll have to take the hose and just wash it off. As you can kind of see what we got going on there. You got my mud, my mud, my mud, my mud. Just on this little section though, it's hard to hard to avoid. So I'm gonna start here with this this uh this section right here. I'm just gonna walk it out with my feet. It's usually pretty darn close. And I'll just go an extra foot or so. Make sure I'm that whole 10 foot. So let me uh Let's do this here. We got one, whoa, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, and a little bit to grow on. I think that'll work. Let me put you guys back over here. It's just easier to put it on the forks. Then to try to drag it through the woods. That's a little harder in the clutch of the tractor and everything else. So. And I can just drive it down the road to the farm, back up to the hill.
back up at one time. Ugh. I couldn't even, that was a full tank of gas, couldn't even cut this whole tree up. Couldn't cut it down and cut it up into big sections. Need a bigger gas tanker. I guess I need a bigger saw. But this saw seems to be fine. Darn. Darn, darn, darn. I think I have some in this shop down here. So, uh, I'll let you take a break for a second. And I'm going to go grab, I think I got gas and oil down here in this building. And uh, I'll get it filled up and we'll start over again. Alright, I had some gas up there. It's funny, I cut the chainsaw off and you didn't hear it, but across the street there's a tom over there gobbling. Every time I come out here and use the chainsaw I start cutting, it, it gets the toms all worked up. So hard to start. two 12 footers and that one's just maybe right at eight foot and I know the one up the top of the hill is over eight foot so we got two two 12s two eights it was a little taller than I thought it was so now I got to get these on the forks and up to the mill so we'll pick back up later these are actually not going to be cut today these are for a uh, a friend of mine who's closing in his garage and doing a couple other projects and uh, he needs in a couple weeks, he's going to need some 2 by 4 so I'm just kind of, the weather's good, it's dry, I can get up in the woods, so um, I'll get these staged back at the uh, lumber yard, and when he's ready for me to cut them, I'll cut them. And I got my project too, I keep saying, my thumb is finally, I mean it's all bumpy, but look, I can push on it. It's amazing how fast, I cut the dig on thing three quarters off, three weeks ago, and I'm already using it, like not a problem, so. Pretty cool. Uh, oh, I did my gloves. I done lost my gloves. Oh well. See you guys in a bit.